Hey guys, thanks for checking out my latest video. Hi peeps. Uh, here I wanted to go over some information basically based on projections and information from one premium uh, DFS site. Um, one that's not quite as highly followed um, from what I understand as some of the other ones. Um, and they've done well for me um, uh, over the last few weeks. Um, I primarily use their information to you know, uh, pick players uh, that, that won me uh, second place in a tournament last week for 2000, I believe it was, uh, in the uh, single entry $5. So, but take it with a grain of salt. Uh, things can change. There's injuries, not always correct. Uh, things can fall different ways. There's uncertainty, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I want to go over some of their <clears throat> information I could pass along to you quickly here. Most of this is going to relate to DFS, Daily Fantasy. Um, some can relate to Rainmakers, DraftKings Rainmakers as well. And I'm doing primarily DraftKings this year over FanDuel, uh, but I may start doing more FanDuel if I continue to do well. Um, so I'll pass along some FanDuel information. First thing is, is uh, here's some of the projected high ownerships that they have. So basically the highest of each position on DraftKings, Allen, 16%. Andrews, 23%, Jacksonville, D, 13%. And the ones that are really high, I marked here in red, and I basically showed all the ones over 20%. So Stevenson, Benjamin, 36 and 35%, Walker, 21% on running backs, wide receiver, Lockett, 32%, uh, Rondell Moore, 22, and Brown, 21. So this is chalk. What the public is picking on, you know, what the what the punters are picking on rain on DraftKings this week. So the question is, is now for cash games, this is the kind of thing where you may you may say, well, that's the lineup I want to play. That's the safest one. That's the the one crowd source, so to speak. But in big field tournaments, you really don't want to pick them all uh, or too many of them. You want to have a couple of small, lesser owned ones there so you can actually win the tournament. Others, otherwise, there's going to be so many people with similar lineups and things like that. <clears throat> Another thing to think of from a contrarian perspective is, uh, let's say Lockett craps out, then a third of all entries are immediately basically out of contention for serious money. Same thing here with these guys. So you can fade these guys as well, any of these really. But uh, do it at your own risk, because these are the ones that they're saying are the best value for money um, on that site. On uh, FanDuel, similar, Allen, over 20% there. Cup, 20% there, so that's slightly different. Andrews, 23%. Jacksonville, again, um, the top-owned defense. Running back, Stevenson, Benjamin. And Walker, all over 20%. Um, Diggs, over uh, Diggs high as well. Henderson high as well. Oh, I didn't mention some of the other highly owned guys. <clears throat> Brady and Murray on DraftKings. Barkley, Henderson, Hall, and Fournette. Wide receivers, Diggs, Metcalf, Godwin, Cup, Myers, Jefferson, and Davis in varying degrees. Ertz and Higby, other highly owned defenses, New Orleans. Rams and Carolina. So you can also look at this as sort of smart money, but again, um, you want some differentiation to win bigger tournaments. Running backs there, Barkley, Fournette, uh, also have some decent ownership. Also Lockett, Metcalf, Samuel. Um, Brown, oh, that's Debo. Brown, Godwin, Rondell Moore, Chase, tight ends, Ertz. Rams in New Orleans. So there's a little differentiation on the sites based on salaries and how they score. Okay, so this site has their calculation for leverage. And this was good last week because this had Allen as the number one running back or quarterback and Fournette as the number one running back. And, that, and I had both those in my uh, lineup that came in so high. So this is people that they're saying uh, have the best leverage for especially for GPPs, the big ones, um, basically what their optimal lineups show versus what the public is owning. So the public doesn't own these as much as they should. So if they do come in, um, you're going to have leverage on them, basically. So 
Lamar Jackson, quarterback. Um, now, running back, Jackson, they really like Jackson from Indy, but their ownership totals uh, don't seem correct. So take it with a grain of salt as far as leverage goes, because we don't know where the ownership's going to come in on Jackson and Lindsey, or they don't have anything estimated basically for them, or very, very low. Also good are Mixon, Fournette, Jones, and Kamara on projected leverage to a lesser degree, Wilson and Dobbins. But overall, the best one they have is Debo Samuel. They really like him this week uh, at what at Atlanta, I believe. They also like Waddle, Peoples, Jones, Cup, Lazard, Hill, and Ayuk in varying degrees. Tight ends, there wasn't a whole lot of leverage on that site, but uh, the, among the ones that were a little higher were Kelsey, Otten, Tanya, Knox, and Uzama. Uh, defenses weren't that high either, I believe, because the yellow ones and green were the high ones. Uh, Tampa Bay, Baltimore, Cincinnati, San Francisco, New England, and Minnesota D. On FanDuel, the best leverage was on Lamar Jackson. Running backs, Fournette had good leverage. Again, Jackson and Lindsey, we don't know the ownership on running backs, so that, that it's hard to say on the leverage exactly. Also, Aaron Jones, Wilson, and Mixon. Wide receivers again, Samuel, Hill, Cooper, and Waddle. They have Miami fairly high. Tight ends, Otten and Higby. These were a little above the tight ends here, if I remember correctly. And defenses, Cincinnati and Tampa Bay. Moving on, their optimal, highest optimals. So these are the ones when they do simulations come in in the top lineups the highest percent of the time. Um which is salary-based as well, obviously. It's all projection-based, but the highest ones were in green and the next were in yellow, and then others that had decent numbers were also there. So Allen, Jackson, Murray, Brady, and Geno Smith. Running backs, Benjamin, Fournette, and Stevenson. Also Barkley, Walker, Henderson, Mixon, Kamara, and Jackson from Indy. McCaffrey, Wilson, and Jones as well. Highest wide receivers, Cup and Samuel. Also Lockett, Brown, and Diggs. Lesser down, but significant, Metcalf, Hill, Lazard, Peoples-Jones, Waddle, Ayak, Jefferson, and Evans. Tight end, Andrews. So like in fantasy football, they would, they're saying, well, no, actually, no, this is salary-based. So Higby and Kelsey. Defenses, Tampa Bay, the Rams, and Cincy. On FanDuel. Allen and Jackson both, Murray, Brady and Mahomes, Fournette alone among the running backs there, Steve among the top tier, then Stevenson, Jackson, Henderson, Barkley, Benjamin, Jones, Walker, Mixon, and Wilson. Also Hall, McCaffrey, and Mostert. Wide receivers, Cup and Samuel. Next group, Diggs, Brown, Lockett, Hill, Metcalf. Also, Evans, Jefferson, Lazard, Chase, Ayuk, and Cooper. Tight end, Andrews. Also, Higby and Kelsey. Defenses, Rams, Cincinnati, Tampa Bay. So a little different order there because of salaries and whatnot. But again, Andrews, 23% owned. That's not, I mean, that doesn't mean you can't own him. But he's very highly owned. Uh, some other values uh, based on points per, but uh, basically points per salary. Some of the higher values, Allen, Smith, Brady, and Rogers, Benjamin, Henderson, Fournette, and Stevenson on FanDuel, Lockett, Cup, and Brown, Andrews, and Higby, defenses, Tampa Bay, Carolina, and Cincinnati. On FanDuel, Allen, and Jackson, Quarterbacks, running backs, Henderson, Fournette, Jackson, Benjamin, and Jones. Wide receivers, Cup and Samuel. Tight end, Andrews. Defenses, Rams, Tampa Bay, Cincinnati. Some more sort of sleepers and values that I would, uh, what I would call either value, cheapies, or, or sleepers, or a combination of them. And the green ones are probably the best ones as far as a combination. Again, Jackson, we don't know the ownership, so that's a question on that, Deion Jackson, but they do like him. 
but Rogers, Stafford, uh, actually Thompson from Miami, Garoppolo and Cousins. And Jackson, Mostert and Dobbins, probably the two prominent ones. Then et even further down, Etienne, Lindsey, Singletary, Edwards, Hilaire, and Najee Harris. On wide receivers, Peoples-Jones has a, been a key one I've noticed all week on there because he's so cheap on DraftKings. Um, I had Shakir in my lineup last week, which is one I had noticed they had liked all week, and that actually was in my winning lineup with Josh Allen. Um, so that's one to consider. Obviously, no guarantee a guy like that's going to come in. Um, I, th I believe he's had one good week and one media medium week this year so far. Anyway, Cooper, Peoples-Jones, Waddle is a good one. Pickens, uh, another cheap salary. Valdez, Scantling, I think their ownership, he's getting more popular, I feel like. Uh, Deontay Johnson, Ayuk is another one that, that they've had repeatedly. And Zay Jones. Tight ends, uh, they weren't super high. Uh, well, they, they like Otten. Uh, even though Brait's back, they've had Otten pretty high for, for value. And Joku and uh, Smith. What tight end is Smith? I can't even remember right now. Oh, Irv Smith. So cheap tight end, especially those two are cheap. Defense, Cincy, they, were, they like on uh, DraftKings. Value for money. Quarterbacks, again, Rodgers, Stafford, Thompson, Garoppolo, Cousins. Sort of like the same order there. Um, running backs on FanDuel, Wilson, Hall, Mostert again, Singletary, Harris, and Dobbins. Mostert stood out the most there. On wide receivers, Lazard, Ayuk, and Deontay Johnson stood out the most. Also Pittman, Waddle, Wilson, and Valdez Scantling. That's Wilson on the Jets. Tight end Higby there. And defense Cincinnati also there, but the green ones are probably the high, the silver, sort of overall best combinations of somewhat having optimal chances and being cheap and having value. Uh, so that's it. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Again, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, the leverage probably is the the one that uh, could be used the most to, to find like good players who aren't that picked or even sleepers. Um, you know, Wilson had a big week last week. He's not that cheap on there, but, uh, uh, you know, if he does it again, he's not going to be that highly owned is what they're saying versus his chance of coming in the be the best lineup or the optimal lineup. Dobbins, Samuels, they're pretty much their favorite overall on DraftKings, and I would say Lamar is their favorite overall on FanDuel when you look at it on a overall basis. Um, let's see. Yeah, and you could see you could see a variety there. And again, the top owned. I mean, you don't want to be scared off because you know a lot of times these people are right. But just keep in mind there are these running backs that everybody is on. Um, I feel like there's even a couple more that aren't on here. But Lockett is so cheap on DraftKings that a lot of people are on it. Moore's very cheap. Brown is not cheap. Um, Allen's obviously not cheap. Um, but, you know, I would say the safest of those three personally is Stevenson. Of these, um, I mean, they're all, those are all pretty good to me. Gino is a good one to me. Andrews looks good, but he's expensive. Uh, I wouldn't say that defense stands above that much to me. Uh, I don't know the FanDuel salaries quite as well. Um but you can see like Cup and Diggs, you can sometimes fit the bigger names easier in on uh, FanDuel. Um, and on the leverage again, Mixon, Fournette, Jones, Kamara. Kamara is cheap on DraftKings. The real contrarian play would be Lamar and Samuel. And then one of these running backs, if you can hop, fit it in, that, that would be a contrarian type thing that might hit you big. No guarantee though. They may be completely wrong. And you can see some of the other player names on there. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, have a good good luck this week and have a good week. And I uh, hope we all win some money. Have a good one. Thanks for checking out the video, liking, subscribing, commenting. Appreciate it.